Your source is brought to you by Synergy Home Care, Intrepid Home Health, and Southeast Texas Cardiology Associates. Uh, on today's Senior Source, we're joined by the founder of Southeast Texas Cardiology Associates, Dr. Rudy Sotolongo. Thanks so much for joining us today. You're welcome. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm glad to be here. Okay, well, when most people hear the word cardiology, they immediately think about the heart, right? But you guys are saying it's a lot more than just heart health. That is correct. Most people associate cardiologists with diseases of the heart only, such as heart attacks, valve problems, etc. But the cardiology specialty encompasses the circulatory system, that is all of the arteries of the human body, including the ones that go to the brain that can cause stroke and the ones that feed the legs that can cause loss of limb. So talk to us about that loss of limb because you don't necessarily think that you could lose, you know, your arm or your leg when you're talking about hearts. Yeah. So how does that work? Well, you know, the leading cause of loss of limb and amputations in the United States is hardening of the arteries, blockages in the blood vessels that feed the legs and the feet, typically and often associated with diabetes. Over half right. of the amputations, 185,000 or so annually in this country, are due to hardening of the arteries and blockages associated frequently with diabetes. Now, with over 2 million people suffering from limb loss uh, around the country, you guys have been able to do procedures that helps to save a person's leg or save a person's arm. What's your success rate with that? Well, you know, we have done a lot of training and, and specialization in diagnosing and treating these kinds of blockages. and. Um, at this time, we're able to achieve success rates in, in the order of 80 to 90 percent. Um, and if not completely prevent an amputation, minimize an amputation. We have some excellent podiatrist physicians in this region who are able to remove toes, remove par part of a foot as a last resort. But our main goal is always amputation prevention. And like I say, you know, our, our success rates, we're able to approach the majority, the vast majority of cases, but somewhere around over the 80 to 90 percent. Uh, That's a success pretty rate. high success rate. Now, talk to us about uh, groups that are at higher risk of dealing with possibly losing limbs. The, the patients that are at highest risks are the diabetics. Diabetics and patients that smoke or have hardening of the arteries atherosclerosis or that have coronary blockages, those are the highest, highest risk of all. Now, of course, with amputation being the last resort, do you have a few tips you might be able to offer to the viewers to prevent getting to that yeah. point? Absolutely. Prevention, prevention, prevention is the absolute way to go. You know, once you have an amputation, 50% of the amputees only survive five years. The survival rate after an amputation is only is, 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 is worse than breast cancer, colon cancer, prostate cancer. So you want to avoid an amputation at all costs. Prevention, not smoking, maintenance of ideal body weight, diabetic control, normal cholesterol values, evaluation of the circulation by a vascular specialist. And if you see any kind of signs of pain, especially any kind of discomfort, cramping, aching when you walk, or any kind of ulcerations in your feet, you should immediately have a full vascular evaluation. And it's Got sad it. because nationwide, less than half of patients who undergo an amputation are referred to a vascular specialist for evaluation. Well, thank you so much for that very helpful information, guys. We'll be right back. <laughs> 